Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. If you watch my channel on a regular basis, you know how much I like to talk about inline spinners. To me, an inline spinner is probably a top five lure in terms of the number of fish it catches across all species. I don't care if it's musky, pike, bass, walleye, trout, an inline spinner of various sizes is one of the best multi-species lures, and they've been around for hundreds of years at this point. Uh, so we know that they work very, very well. I've done videos on this Bronze Slammer by MEPS talking about how good of a fish catcher it is, and I always end up giving them either to my boys when I go fishing or if I'm doing a guide trip, I end up a lot of times giving the younger clients a small inline spinner. Now the problem with an inline spinner a lot of times is the fact that it's got exposed hooks. So this is an open exposed treble hook and depending where you're fishing, they can end up getting snagged a lot. So on the river that I live, we've got a lot of wood. So if you're trying to fish the shoreline, you're probably gonna end up getting snagged. If you're on a lake that's got a lot of vegetation, you're probably gonna end up getting weeds on your bait continuously. But when I did that video on the MEPS Bronze Slammer, and I'll attach it at the end for you guys if you wanna watch that, but when I did that video and when I've done videos on other inline spinners like the Snagless Sally, I've had a lot of viewers tell me I need to try an inline spinner that's weedless by Picasso. It's called the Smart Mouth Inline Spinner. And I, I ordered a bunch after getting several of those recommendations. And I've been putting them to work now for this for a good portion of this year. And I guess actually a lot of that wasn't me putting it to work. I actually was giving it to my boy Hank uh, to fish it out of the back of the boat. We go fishing all the time on the river and I wanted something that he could still cast into the cover and work back, get bites, but not get snagged. So the, the uh, Smart Mouth Inline Spinner was a natural one for me to give him since I really like inline spinners that have the exposed hooks. So this right here is the Picasso Smart Mouth Inline Spinner. Now you can see it's very much a weedless jig head with a nice attachment of an inline spinner, but it is in a very impressive high quality bait. And what we found is it catches a pile of fish. Hank has been catching a ton of smallmouth and pike on the river. Uh, he, so he basically got me into it and got me to see how good of a fish catching tool it is. I've had it rigged up now at several places like Lake Okeechobee. I had it rigged up this past tournament at the Potomac River covering a lot of large expansive grass flats, generated several bites for me. I didn't end up throwing it in the tournament just because of the area that I was in at that point, it wasn't really the prime target, but it really did produce for me uh, quite well at the Potomac when I was throwing it. And that goes along with what a lot of the viewers have told me, you know, they're the ones that were recommending it. And I gotta tell you, it's it's very, very nice. So a couple of things I wanna point out on it. Personally, I like this long cylinder bar. I think that does a couple of things. One is it makes the bait sleeker, but more importantly, I actually feel like that adds a lot of strength to my wire. So I don't find that I'm bending the wire much. A lot of times if you end up catching some of the bigger, especially toothy critters like Northern Pike, you'll find that your wire will get bent, which can throw the whole top of the bait or the inline spinner off. But in this case, that long cylinder actually does a good job at providing strength, which I really like. The other thing is the blade component that they have on here is very high quality. It's also got the hammered look, which I really like. Hopefully you can see that in the video. Uh, but other than that, it's a very sleek, street, uh, streamlined down inline spinner that's got pretty much just a weedless jig head that's attached to it. Now, I will tell you there's one very unique feature on this jig head that I very, very much like. And if you look at the weed guard, it specifically looks like they've got epoxy dipped, like it's like a drop of epoxy on the bottom of the weed guard. And what that does is it allows the weed guard to be a little bit uh, stiffer and at the same time provide a, a little bit more weedlessness to the bait. So for me, I really like that, especially if you're fishing around wood, it's just four pieces of weed guard, but you can see it kind of flares out and it's got the little dipped epoxy resin on the tip that really helps make it weedless, 
And at the same time though, you don't have a whole pile of strands on there to interfere with the hook. So to me, I haven't seen any issue at all from a hookup percentage. Um, but I gotta tell you, there's a couple other things that I do like about this bait. I feel like because of the streamlined appearance to it, you can fish it in a lot of different manners. So uh, going back to the Potomac River, that's a great place. If I had an outgoing tide, a lot of times the grass that I was fishing was really, really clear. That clear water from the back of the marshes and the back of the creeks was getting sucked out. And therefore I was fishing in what I would consider very, very clear water where you had, I don't know, six foot of visibility. And when that happened, I would go to this Berkeley Power Singer as my trailer. So just a straight tail uh, trailer. I wasn't looking to create a pile of motion. I was really just letting the blade make the flash, make the vibration. And then I was trying to give the fish just the look of about the same size of the bait fish that I was seeing swim around. And it worked really, really well. Now, when the tide was coming in, and I was fishing some of those main lake or main creek arm grass beds, uh, a lot of times you'd get that dirtier main river water that would come in, the grass beds would get quite dirty. You'd have maybe six inches of visibility. And at that time, I would take the power stinger off and I'd replace it with a boot tail, like this uh, little dipper by Reaction Innovations. And I would put that on here and then that would give me some boot tail kicking vibration. So it it's a unique bait in that it's, it can be both a bait that puts out a lot of vibration for your dirtier water if you're fishing rivers or you're fishing dirty water like I was in the Potomac on the incoming tide, or if you're fishing clear water, you can make it much more streamlined. It's not a big bulky bait that's got a lot of crazy look to it. It really is a, you know, a smaller blade, blade that creates just enough flash to draw the fish's attention, but not so much where if you're fishing in clear water, you're actually gonna spook the fish. But this thing has been a really good fish catching tool for me. If you happen to live in an area where you fish a lot of rivers or you're fishing a lot of laydowns or you're in an area that's got a lot of grass, I'm giving this bait a big uh, two thumbs up. I approve of it very much so. I'm very, very impressed to be honest with you. Um, so to the recommender, the people that were out there that recommended the bait to me multiple times, thank you very much. This is one of those uh, you know, those good times where I can point to it and say, I learned from you guys just as much as you learned from me. And in this case, this is a bait now that's going to be in my arsenal moving forward. In fact, I'm going to tie this one on for Hank tonight in our Wednesday nighter. Uh, so it's definitely a bait that's been working really well. So to that person out there, thank you for recommending it, guys. I'll put the link for this in the video description if you want to check out the baits that I mentioned here. And I suggest that you might want to give it a try because after all, inline spinners are one of the best fish catching lures ever created, in my opinion. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow for you.